What's up guys, today we're talking about how to save space when you're editing with Final Cut Pro so that your computer doesn't freeze and you don't want to smash it. Let's go. Welcome everybody, my name is Dustin Harrelson and I make tutorials that help you edit faster, better, and smoother, and also things that help you get jobs as a creative. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, let's jump into the edit. Step one happens before we even start editing, we need to make a new folder specifically for the video project that we're doing. Take all the videos that we're going to use in this project and put them in that folder. Alright, step two, after you've done that, we're going to open Final Cut Pro and we're going to go to File, New, library and we're going to name this library the same thing that we named that folder so uab family resource council and then we're going to save it in the exact same folder as we save those videos in so next thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new project and i always just name this the same thing okay step three we're going to import the videos that we're using in this project so we're going to click import up here find that folder that we made earlier and then just import all of these videos into the project. Everything we've done thus far set us up to save space after the export, but it doesn't happen until you're done with the export, you deliver the product, you've been paid, you've posted it on Instagram, you're never gonna touch this edit again. That is where step four comes in and that is where we save you space. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna exit out the Final Cut Pro and then we're gonna to go to that folder that we made earlier. And if we go in that folder, we'll see this purple file. So this purple file is that library that we saved earlier. And I'm gonna show you how many gigabytes it's taking up when I didn't even edit it and all I dropped in were these like five short clips. It's already taking up 2.23 gigabytes. So imagine if you're editing a wedding video or even this full video, it's gonna take up 10, 15, even up to like 100, 200, 300 gigabytes, depending on how many videos um, and how many transitions and color grade, all the stuff you put in there, that purple file is gonna get huge. So here's where we come around to saving space. Once we're done with this video and we've exported and delivered it and we never need to touch this purple file again, we can just delete it, we can trash it. In this case, we immediately save two gigabytes, but imagine if you could immediately save 30 gigabytes. 80 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, just like that. So again, I really wanna say it's super important not to do this until you know you're done with the file. So this is really important because a lot of people, including what I used to do, will edit all of their video projects in the same library. So that purple file that we looked at will grow to be hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes and then you can't just delete that all at once because there's projects in there that you haven't finished. You can't delete those and save those hundreds of gigabytes if you're still working on the projects. So doing it this way is super helpful because one video, one project, you deliver it, you delete it, there's your space. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this, please hit like down below. That benefits me so much. If you edit videos or anything for that matter and you have a better way of saving space, please comment it down below because I'm always looking for ways to make editing less frustrating and more fun. If you want to see more tutorials, hit subscribe, click the bell, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.